Wow. Wow, I'm really back on YouTube. This is... <laughs> I feel like everybody is going to be like, Michaela, respectfully, where have you been? I got y'all. What's popping, y'all? It's your girl, McKay. Welcome back to yet another YouTube video. I have missed y'all so, so much. I literally... <laughs> I have missed you guys so so much and I am so happy and so grateful that y'all are still rocking with me Y'all are still supporting McKay Media and I literally appreciate you from the bottom of my heart Wherever in the world that you're watching this from I appreciate you before I even begin this video I know I know I've been MIA, but what I want to say is I hope that you've been safe I hope that you've been healthy happy content doing things that you love during this pandemic during this quarantine during all of it right because this was really a time that a lot of people just sat down with themselves and said okay i gotta do something i i have to like start a business or start a new hobby or whatever the case may be a lot of people did a lot of different things in their life that they didn't ever expect to do right during this time and so i just want to say i was one of those people too right i was definitely one of those people as i tapped into other things other streams of income other activities i yeah coronavirus <laughs> has been quite interesting not gonna lie um but i'm here to basically give y'all an update on exactly what i've been doing where i have been and why i have been so mia on youtube i know i know i know y'all i'm sorry but i'm here i'm back and i'm better than ever and i'm just so happy and grateful that i'm literally here talking to y'all y'all get me <laughs> my youtube family i'm so excited but i'm gonna stop chatting now and we're literally just gonna go ahead and get right into this video now before we begin don't even think i forgot make sure you like comment and subscribe press that bell button so that we get notified every single time i upload a video oh i still got it i still got it all right y'all so i'm literally gonna look at my youtube channel to see when is the last time i physically made a video and talked with my youtube family let's see Okay, so my last updated video was two months ago. Sheesh, that was a long time ago. A lot has obviously happened in these two months, right? The last video that I posted was Girl Talk, my turn offs. If you haven't watched that, go watch it. I'm gonna put it right here. But a lot has happened in the past two months and yeah, just a lot has happened. So I'm gonna go ahead and, and tell y'all exactly what's going on in my life. So to be exact, two months ago was like, Today is the end of July, so two months ago was like May, early May. So that's the last time that y'all saw my face and a lot has happened since then, right? In between now and back in May when you last saw the video, I started trading in the foreign exchange market. Well, I had started trading before then, but I had just really been, you know, in go mode and just like really developing my business at the beginning of May and I was traveling a bit. I was on a business trip. Um, Yeah, a lot of different things have happened. So let me go ahead and walk y'all through it, okay? So basically, on May 1st, I became a Platinum 150. If you don't trade in the foreign exchange market, this is gonna sound really weird, but basically, I became an independent business owner. I started to allow people to trade with me. I was teaching people how to trade, still am teaching people how to trade, and I became a mentor and an opportunity, right? And I started trading in the foreign exchange market like, mid-april yeah around mid-april and i'm still trading i'm still an independent business owner today i am now a platinum 600 and we're gonna kind of get to how this all happened right so i was a platinum 150 when i kind of took a break from youtube and the reason being is because I became a business owner and I needed to start developing my business and really learn how to run a business within the foreign exchange market. And I just had to lock in basically, right? And of course I was like, oh my God, I'm leaving YouTube for a second. I know, I know, I know I haven't uploaded, but it was honestly for the best because I tapped into two streams of income with that opportunity and I had to literally just go for it. And so I put my mind to it, right? And whenever I focus on something, I'm just very locked in with it. and. I just, it's like tunnel vision, right? It's, it's really like tunnel vision. I started trading because one of my friends from NYU started trading, shout out to Sydney, shout out to my good sis Sydney. She told me about trading in the foreign exchange market and I was like, oh, two streams of income in one market, making money for my phone, I don't have to go anywhere. And because it was literally a pandemic, like the coronavirus had become this big thing, everything was shutting down, I wasn't in school, I wasn't physically at work, none of it, right? So I was like, ooh, I need to secure the bag. So I started trading. and once 
once I started trading, I started telling other people about it, like, hey, you know, I'm making money from my phone. Telling other people about the opportunity and allowing other people to also tap into two streams of income. And then I became an independent business owner. Y'all, it took off from there. I just really started to zone in and I've come... I've literally just started to build my business and now I have a team of about 20 people who are trading with me currently and I am a mentor to all 20 of them, teaching them how to be profitable in the foreign exchange market. And so in late May, early June, I left Atlanta, right? Because that's where I last was when I was on YouTube. I left Atlanta to go to New York. And the reason why I went to New York is to go to what is called a launch pad, right? And I know still you don't understand, you may not understand these words, but I went to a launch pad and I met up with my investment group. I'm in an investment group called Pipaholics and they are based, they, they are really based out of New York, right? So I went up to New York and we were all living together, quarantined together in an Airbnb. Um, and we lived together for like a month and a half. Truthfully, y'all, I wasn't even supposed to be there that whole time. I honestly had planned to go to New York for about two weeks. But because of the amount of success that I was just getting in that space, just being able to be so focused on my business and developing as a leader, I was like, okay, I got to prolong my stay. And I don't regret it at all. I had an amazing time. I met amazing people. I networked my butt off. Literally, the people who I met in person, the amount of impact that they've had in other people's lives, like just the exposure every single day. I was like, wow, like this is the space that I've entered. And I had never really been in an opportunity where specifically I see a lot of people of color, you know, black and brown people who are up six, seven, eight figures. And I was like, no way I can leave this space. Like I have to lock in and understand how I'm going to get to that level of success, right? Because we go to school, we try to figure out what career path we're gonna be on and we, we don't make the money that we need to make while we're in school. We have to graduate first to even potentially you know, get a job. And this is an opportunity where I was learning how to trade, making money from the market, becoming a business owner and making residual money from that as well. So two streams of income. So how could I really pass that up, right? Especially just given the times and everything that's going on in the world. So I was like, gotta lock in. So I really enjoyed my month and a half there. I met amazing, amazing people. people People who have impacted thousands of lives, literally changed so many people's financial situations and just tapped into financial freedom. Something that I didn't even understand before really trading in the foreign exchange market. Before I even started trading and investing in myself, like that's really what that decision was, to invest in myself. Before I started doing that, I kept telling people like, I want to have my own private practice, but in order to have it, I have to have somebody else invest in me. But why don't I just invest in myself now at the age of 21? So by when I'm 25, 26, out of grad school, have all of my credentials, I personally can be like, yeah, I'm gonna buy this building because I have the capital to do so, right? So I was like, you know what? I'm no longer relying on anybody else to invest in me, basically. I'm just gonna invest in myself. So that's what I ended up doing, and that is exactly why I'm trading. It is to fund my dreams and aspirations, and also just so I can help out my family in any way because they have helped me out so much that I just wanna make sure, okay, soon I'm gonna be in the position where I can just help out anyone who's like, you know what, Michaela, I need this, that, and the third. Help out my grandmother in any way that I can. Just a lot of people who I, they don't think that I owe a lot to them, but I personally believe that I owe a lot to them. So I gotta just make sure that I'm good so that way that I can give back to them, right? And so that is why I started trading. That is, the, you know, the cat's out the bag. It's no secret. I have been posting about it all over my Instagram. So if you follow me on Instagram, you definitely know that I trade. But I just hadn't come to YouTube to talk about it. And so, yeah, y'all, that is what has basically been, you know, consuming some of my time. It's literally because I started my own business. I literally started my own investment group. And it's something that I never saw myself doing. It's definitely something that I never thought I would do. But I will say I don't regret it at all. I don't regret investing in myself. I don't regret saying I'm going to take a leap of faith on myself and just allowing other people to be in a better situation than when they enter the opportunity, right? It really is impact over money at all times. And when I started trading and when I became an, an, a business owner specifically, I was like, okay, there's no way that God put me here by accident because 
I'm impacting lives in a way where like when I become a therapist, I will be impacting lives. But right now, it's just a different kind of impact. Like every space that I've entered, I've always been able to kind of help people out, give advice, talk people through their problems, etc., etc. But I've never been able to financially assist other people. And so in this opportunity, this is just another thing that God was like, okay, let's, let's put you into this bracket for right now. You know, and I was like... It's not by accident. So I've really been enjoying my time. Y'all, if you haven't seen the blue screens on my Instagram, literally what it is is that I'm literally making money from my phone. I'm gonna show you my screen now, just so you know that it's real, right? I'm currently $39 in profit. That is what my, that's what the screen means, right? At the top, it tells you how much money you're making on your phone. So that is literally what I've been doing. And I have a whole family of other people who are trading along with me, making money from their phone with me. And it's just, it's been a blessing. It's definitely changed the way that I see finances, the way that I see money, the way that I see myself and, and all the potential that I have. Like nothing is limited in this world at all. If you want something, go get it, right? You just gotta go for it and go get it. So yeah. <laughs> That's what I've been up to, y'all. That is what I've been up to. And currently now, right, obviously I'm in a different location. I am in Los Angeles, California. I'm visiting my mom, my stepdad, and my sister. And I came out here because a lot of family on the East Coast, if I was going to stay with them, they're of older age. And so I wanted to make sure that I was being safe, that I was keeping them safe and not putting them in danger, basically, due to COVID. And so my mom and my stepdad were open to me coming out here and just quarantining in this room for 14 days. So that's exactly what I'm doing. And I have been vlogging my 14-day quarantine. So that video is coming very, very soon. So keep a lookout. But I have been quarantining. Today is day four of quarantine. I arrived on Monday and today is Tuesday, July 30th. I mean, today is Thursday, July 30th, so I've been quarantining for four days now, and it's been interesting. I've had a lot of time to like reflect, start tapping into what type of content that I want to get out on my YouTube channel, and just understanding like what's the next steps for me. So next is school. Obviously, I got to go back to school. A lot of things are changing because of coronavirus and just how we're going to be interacting as students or the lack of interaction as students. We're really not going to be able to have human contact too much. And there's definitely not going to be events and stuff. So when I go back to school, it's going to be a whole different world. So I'm just trying to map out what my next move is and what the next like five, six months left in the year is going to look like for me. And I'm excited. I'm really excited to see what's coming. I'm excited for more financial freedom. I'm excited for more freedom, period. I have a lot of goals in mind and just a lot of things cooking up in my head. So I can't wait to share all of that with you all and all the ideas that I have come up with. But... Yeah, that's been my last two months. That is why I have been MIA. I literally started my own business. I started investing. I have been traveling a bit, seeing friends, being with my investment group, now back with my family. And just a lot of things have been happening in my life that I couldn't just sit down and have a YouTube video quite yet because the journey wasn't over. And the journey's still not over, but right now I just have some relaxation time, some downtime. So I was like, you know what? Let me update my YouTube family because I honestly miss y'all so, so much. I really do. Y'all are my rock. Like, whoever is watching this, even if you don't think that I, I don't notice you or I don't know you, trust me. I, I know. I know that you view my, my, my videos as surprising as it may be. I know you, right? Like, y'all are my family for sure. And I just appreciate you so much. I had to come here and update y'all. So... It is day four of quarantine. I've been doing some yoga in the morning, calling my team, of course, staying updated with my investment group. And I've been doing trainings. I have been making money from my phone, just trying to really make the best out of this whole quarantine and this coronavirus and everything like that. I've definitely been doing a lot more reading, a lot more spiritual growth as well. My relationship with God has definitely become stronger and everything, the foundation is so solid now. And there's just so many confirmations about what I'm doing in my life right now coming from God that it's like, okay, this makes sense. All of it makes sense. All of this is literally a part of this life journey. So yeah, before I get real deep, deep, that is literally what has been going on in my life for the past two months. That is why I have not been uploading. I've literally been so busy. I've been on the go. I have just been trying to figure everything out and trying to balance everything as well. So yeah, 
I appreciate you guys so much for watching this video. I appreciate you for staying locked in with me. Even though I went MIA for two months, again, I apologize, y'all. I love you guys so, so much, though. Thank you so much for your support. Thank you so much for the messages, reaching out, and still DMing me about videos that I've uploaded a year ago, two years ago. So it's like, I love you guys so much. And yeah. That's, that's the update on McKay's life. I hope that y'all enjoyed this video. Please, if you have any questions about trading, if you also wanna know how you can make money from your phone, I am more than happy to talk to anybody. Literally, wherever in the world you are, doesn't matter. It literally doesn't matter. My investment group is called International Snipers for a reason, right? We are international. It doesn't matter where in the world you're from, where you're living. You can also trade in the foreign exchange market. So if you have any questions, you want to chat with me about it, you want to even just get more information just to get the information, right? It's completely free to get the information. Just DM me on my Instagram at McKay, and let's get chatting, okay? Thank you guys so much for supporting me. I love you all from the bottom of my heart. I hope that you are safe. I hope that you are healthy. I hope that you are sane in this time and that you and your family are good. I really hope that everybody who's watching this video, you're good. All right? I will talk to y'all later, and I will see you in the next video. Bye, y'all.